you. That's a beautiful dress. I appreciate that. Yeah, one of my yeah. Favorites, so. What's that? Oh, good. All right. The dress is your favorite? Well, one of my favorite designers, it's uh, it's Calvin Klein, and I don't quite know why they like to send me clothes, but I appreciate That's it. That's nice. This is from Sears. I nice. love. <laughs> I don't know why they send me stuff, but I wear it. It's made of aluminum. <laughs> Very it nice. Breathe? Yeah, it's, oh, it's beautiful. Good. It moves. It's sexy. It's hot. Whatever the people say these days. I don't know. I never go out. Um, <laughs> thanks so much for being here. Thank nice you. Nice having the show. Me. And you know, it's it's funny because uh, I'm, I'm I'm staring already. So much has been written about you. You have such a lovely smile, such a beautiful smile, Thank and you. just incredible dimple right there. It's great. You, do you like it? Yeah, it's cool. You, you know, dimples are actually a deformity. No, I didn't know yeah, that. I no. mean, you know, there's a hole in your muscular tissue that makes that cave shape. Right. Yeah. Do you say that whenever someone says you have a lovely smile? No. <laughs> you have a lovely smile. It's a deformity. There's a hole in my face. No, I'm I missing muscle tissue. Yeah. I, uh, I just think it's kind of funny that, that people sort well, of. Well, you know what's funny? For yeah. Them. Well, that's what uh, people would. There are so many people that would just pray to have uh, yeah. a, a deformity like that. It's beautiful. I have a dent on the front of my face. I have a dent on the back of my head. I, I, I'm dented, I guess. Well, uh, well, let's back up the bus just for a second. Why is there a dent in the back of your head? Um, okay, this is. It's gonna sound odd. You know, babies have very soft tissue in their skulls when they're born. They're, yeah, their 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 skulls are soft for a couple of months. Right. Yeah. So they're they're very easily shaped, and um, just a little bit of thumb pressure from the doctor. Yeah. Doing that's graphic. Sorry. Yeah. Um, anyway, I I grew. So your doctor, up with the guy you're supposed to know better when you were being yeah. born, picked you up and went, "What a nice baby, onk." Yeah, just just a little a little pressure was all it took, and, and the indention grew as I grew. So I have a big dent right back here. Right. Well, it's all covered up. I'm sure it's fun. What's oh, that? Here. Oh, the, okay. This is it. getting erotic. There you go. Oh my God! Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. Oh my God! You can you can comb my head like a basketball. <laughs> Your yeah. Will fit right in that oh my spot. lord, that's uh, yeah, 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 that's incredible. Yeah, it's, it's I didn't think this was gonna go that way. Yeah. But... You know, I'm a really big fan. <laughs> the lovely Sophia Bush. I wonder if there's a dent in her head. <laughs> yeah. I wonder. Uh, no, let's talk about something else, and then we'll get back to that. Um, okay. I'm, I'm reading about you today. I'm reading all these things, and I read that you're into boxing. And I don't want you to mm -hmm. sound sexist, but you know, it just. I, I, it doesn't seem to me like you'd be into boxing, but you are? Yeah, I really am. I, I, I grew up with a tomboy side to me, mm -hmm. and last summer while I was shooting a film in New Orleans, I was basically, you know, the girl among the guys, mm -hmm. and I was sparring and boxing a little bit with my best friends and our big burly security guard on set. And when I got back to Wilmington last year, I went to a boxing gym and spoke to the head trainer and was like, listen, I really want to start training. You know, I can't fight because of my job, right. but I would love to train because I, I just think it's really exciting. It feels sure, really good. Yeah. And he's like, you, you know, you're really athletic. We're going to make you a great fighter. You are going to be a prize fighter. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I, I can't get hit in the face. Um, <laughs> That's I, great I, when you go to a real <laughs> boxing gym and say, I want to get into this, just like you guys, not the face. <laughs> I was like, I, I can't go to work. We don't shoot things chronologically. I can't show up at work with a broken nose. And he's going, no. You're going to be great. You're going to be a great fighter. And I'm going, you don't understand. I can't get hit in the right, face. Right, right. So that didn't go over so well for me. Well, you know what? I, I, I had this experience once where I was at a gym, and there's a, there's a trainer there. And he was like, let's do some of the boxing stuff. And he just put on these giant mittens mm -hmm. that are foam. And you just yeah, hit one mitten and then the other mitten. And for a while, you, your heart rate gets up, and you really think you're fighting. You're yeah. like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then one day it occurred to me, I'm hitting a man with giant mittens. <laughs> Who's not hitting back? But you feel really powerful doing it. Not when you, uh, there's like a big mirror, and one day I just looked in the mirror, and it was me going like this, <laughs> and another guy with, you know, it looked like giant foam pads on his hands yeah. dancing around, and I thought, okay, this is foolish. I've got to stop this right now. At least you tried. No, I stopped. It was after an hour. Uh, <laughs> awesome. I never really try. Uh, one Tree Hill, the show's going very well. Mm -hmm. You guys have a huge uh, teen fan base. That must we be very do. gratifying, because everybody wants a teen fan base. You guys have it. Yeah, we're very lucky. I knew actually last night that we had hit our pinnacle because I, I was leaving uh, an event at Radio City, and this girl and her boyfriend are walking down the street. They're probably 17 years old, and I mean, this girl's gothed out, like shaved head and short hair and piercings all over her face, and everything's black and pleather and tight and big military boots. And she looks at me and goes, <gasps> And like starts to shake and starts to cry and he's like, oh my God, she loves you. And I'm like, hey, that's awesome. And she's like, ah, ah, and she can't get a word out and she's crying. And I was like, we got the goths. The goths. <laughs> you get the goths. Yeah. yeah. I knew that was yeah. huge. And what's great. <laughs> 
it's when, it's when a goth woman starts crying and the black and just <laughs> runs down her face. And That's she was, the best she was part. She just the nicest girl. I talked to her for a while until she caught her breath, and I was just like, we have got it. Yeah, yeah. We've encompassed. That's I, I was great. Very proud. That's really good. And yeah. uh, is this true? You also, do you believe you have a lesbian fan base? Is that true? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm learning that. You know, on, on the first season of Nip Tuck, I played a bisexual. Mm -hmm. And then in John Tucker, I had to kiss Brittany, my co star, which was awkward because she's one of my best friends. So that was weird. Right. And. Yeah, I've, I've started getting interesting propositions from some female fans. They write you letters and... Um, some letters. Uh, the barista at a Starbucks I frequent has started asking me if I would mind playing for the other team. I had to kindly say no, but she makes really great coffee, so <laughs> I, I still go in every day. So you're thinking about it? No, but I appreciate it. Okay. Greatly. Okay, don't rule it out. Uh... <laughs> I'm getting a letter from Starbucks now. Okay. Tell us, who is this barista? The season premiere of One Tree Hill airs Wednesday, September 27th at 9 on the, uh, on the CW. And Sophia, thanks a lot for being here. Thank you. Yeah, really cool to have you on the show. Sophia Bush, right back. Citizen Coast is here. Check it out. You can see